Welcome to today's Mr. Nelson Teaches, and uh, we're going to look at finding the least common denominators. So let's check out the problems. And uh, these go in the order of the problems on the worksheet from left, right, and down, and so forth. And the way that I find it easy to uh, determine least common denominators is by kind of making a table with our denominators. So here we have six and three. So I'm gonna make my little table, six and three. Another little line over here. And we'll write one, two, three, four. And what this is, we will multiply this number by this number and write it here. So one times six is six. One times three is three. Two times six is 12. Two times three is six. Three times six is 18. Four times six is 24. 3 times 3 is 9, and 4 times 3 is 12. So I can see right here that both columns share the number 6. So our least common denominator between 3 and 6 is the number 6. Okay, we'll do the same thing here with 7 and 4. Make our columns drawing a little bit neater this time. We have 7 and 4. We'll extend it if we need to. So 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14, 3 times 7 is 21, and 4 times 7 is 28. 1 times 4 is 4, 2 times 4 is 8, 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. Let's extend this on out. Uh, 5 times 7 is 35, 6 times 7 is 42, 7 times 7 is 49, 5 times 4 is 20, 6 times 4 is 24, and 7 times 4 is 28. So I see what my least common denominator is going to be. It's 28 that. I'm going to write in a color other than that green this time. I'm going to write 28 here. All right, between 2 and 3, or between 3 and 15, sorry. see that we got 15 in each column so 15 is the least common denominator there all right between 12 and 10 okay One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five. So I can put in six. Get a little bit extra space there. So we have 12, 24, 36. And all I'm doing is multiplying these two numbers and writing that there. That's giving me the multiples. 4 times 12 is 48. 5 times 12 is 60. 6 times 12 is 72. So we have our tens. It's pretty easy. 20, 30, 40, 50, and finally 60. And Z60 is in both columns. So 60 is going to be my least common denominator there. This one should be pretty easy to just kind of look at and see. We'll write it out anyway so that we're all on the same page. 1 times 5 is 5, 10, 15, 20. 1 times 10 is 10, 20. And I can see right here. And we have 10 in each column, so 10 would be it. So, a little bit more complex now. We've got three numbers we're working with. Extend this down some just because I know what the answer is and we'll need more space. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 40, 45, and 50. Not seeing any yet, so we'll keep going on down. So we're looking for the number, the smallest number that they all have in common, and it's 45. You can see that right there. So 45 is the answer. There's seven between. Four. And all you 
you have to do is multiply this number by this number and then write it where they come together. So 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16, and 5 times 4 is 20. So the smallest number that they both have in common is 20. color to see, so let's use blue. know what the answer is so I'm going to go ahead and start here um, when you're working on these in whether it's on a test or homework or whatever you may want to go across that way you can you know, save a little bit of time doing that uh, but whichever way works for you to get the right answer that's how I would do it so let's count my sixes Alright, I can see 18 is in all three of those, so our answer for the ninth one is 18. Alright, thanks everybody for watching. If you wouldn't mind, like, share, subscribe, etc.